Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a one-of-a-kind product. From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience in our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gain Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through life's obstacles. Jack Davis specializes in group insurance for businesses and institutions of all sizes. With coverage for life, accidents, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision, Jack Davis can customize a plan to meet every need. Now available Medicare plans for seniors. Contact Paige Davis at 931-492-9284 today for Medicare Supplement, Medicare Advantage, and Prescription Drug Plan Insurance. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987, call the team at Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery for furniture, appliances, and more. And shop quality, shop convenience, shop service, shop local. A family-owned business with a long history of serving the region. We're a one-stop home furnishings destination. We feature brands you know, competitively priced, backed by professional installation and service. You can trust that we'll take good care of you before and after the sale. For your home, shop smart. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery today. Looking for a place to pick up your pumpkins for the fall? Then the Hudson Valley Pumpkin Farm is the place to go. Located at 356 Hudson Road, Hudson Valley is 10 acres of fun awaiting for you. They also have corn stalks, mums, and anything else you would need for the fall. It is open starting Saturday, September 14th, and will run every Saturday throughout the fall from 9 to 5 until they run out. You can also visit during the week upon request. For more information, use the QR code at the end of this commercial. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery for furniture, appliances, and more. And shop quality, shop convenience, shop service, shop local. A family-owned business with a long history of serving the region. 
We're a one-stop home furnishings destination. We feature brands you know, competitively priced, backed by professional installation and service. You can trust that we'll take good care of you before and after the sale. For your home, shop smart. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery today. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating, specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil, landscape gravel, and still landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at Number 3 Valley Road in Lawrenceburg, just off Buffalo Road. Phone 931-279-3841 and get started today. At Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, we're proud to be locally owned and operated because we're not just a bank, we're family. When you call, you'll be greeted by a friendly representative who's ready to discuss your banking needs, as well as offer our competitive rates on CDs and money market accounts. Our loan decisions are made in-house and never sold to a secondary market because our commitment is simple. You matter to us. At Lawrenceburg Federal, we offer all the conveniences of larger banks with a personal touch. Join us at Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, where community, trust, and service come together. If you're looking for the right someone to mow your property, do landscaping, dirt work, land clearing, fence row clearing, bush hogging, or gutter clearing, call Shape Me Up Lawn Care today, 931-244-0841. This is the X Sports Network. And welcome everybody back here to Summertown High School as we're here for the third game of the TMSAA Area 13 Volleyball Tournament as this game will feature the Lady Rebels of Leoma taking on the Lady Eagles of Summertown. Hayden Birch joined alongside Ava Scott Garland and Kevin Wright producing whatever this is. As Ava Scott, good game between the two. Obviously you know Summertown very well, a lot of their players. Just what are you expecting from this game? Um, I think it'll be, I think Summertown has a lot of good eighth graders. Ava Cornelius, Macy Pettis, Lucy Ruber, all Alex Rigsby, all those eighth graders. And I think that they've played together enough that they really connect as a team. And as it's coming to the end, a lot of teams really want to win and make it as far as they can. And I think that Leoma has hustle and Summertown does too. So I think it should be good. Absolutely. And that's just kind of the name of the game with the, this time of year is, you know, you start off slow, but then again, it's whenever you want to play your best when it comes to tournament time. And yes, absolutely. Summertown has really been doing well with that because they start off slow, and here they are. As of the fourth seed, is this is number four versus number five. As before this game started, was the Lady Tigers of New Prospect defeating the Lady, pa or excuse me, the Lady Vikings of Perry County. As they won two sets of none, as New Prospect will move on. They will play at 8 o'clock. They will take on the Lady Warriors of Cullioka. And it's coming up after this game, it will be the Lady Hawks of Hampshire taking on the number one seed, Lady Stallions of South Lawrence. As on your screen, it will be on the far side, the Lady Eagles of Summertown on the near side of your screen will be the Leoma Lady Rebels. It's both teams in blue. And starting off to serve will be number 14, that is Lucy Rubert. And the action is back underway. It's up in the air. As they look to get it over, as they do, that's Reed. It's underneath it. Putman sets it up. They look to get it over. It's still up in the air. Leoma, as they try to get it over, is in the air. Rupert now, and point will go to Summertown, as I believe just over the line, that was number four, Johnson. Here's the serve once again, and it's up in the air. And still, that will be blocked by Cornelius as she was anticipating the serve there, and it's already a 2-0 lead quickly. Good timing there by Ava Cornelius on that block. Here's the serve once again, just showing that point. will go to Leoma for their first one. 
And back to serve will be number 30, that is Taylor Reed. And she will get it over net as Pettis underneath it. As there is Rupert, and they will send it over, still up in the air. And Johnson now as they look to send it back over. Tipped up by Cornelius, though. Putman sets it up. As they look to get it over, which they do, still up in the air for the Lady Rebels. They look to send it back. Cornelius tips it back over. Still up. Point up. As Rupert underneath it. As Rigsby looks to go for the block, Putman with the dig. As they look to get it over, they will send it back over. Still up in the air for Leoma. As they send it back, back and forth they go. Pettis underneath it. As they set it up, as they look to get it over, as that was Atkins that sends it up. Johnson back over. Putman right back over. And shortly enough, though, point will go to Leoma. And it's tied up at two. Good rally and good hustle there by both teams. Both of them going back and forth as this is the four seat of Summertown taking on the five seat of Leoma. So it's going to be... A back and forth for sure, as that one sent long point will go to Summertown and they retake the lead three to two. That's the eighth grader Alex Rigsby back to serve. And she will get it over the net. As underneath it is Roberson. As they look to get it over, just short of the net, that's Johnson Point will go to Summertown again. Here's the serve by Rigsby once again. Johnson underneath it. They look to get it over. Winters. It's Putman underneath. They look to get it over. That's Atkins. And down for the kill point will go to the Lady Eagles as they jump out to a 5-2 lead. Rigsby to serve once again. As that's dug out Johnson underneath it as they try to save it. As that was Roberson that got it over. Putman sets it up. Here's Cornelius, times it up. Gets it over, though. Still up in the air for Leoma. As Johnson will look to get it over. Rigsby underneath it, though. And Summertown sets it up. Here's Cornelius going for the kill once again. Floats it over the defense. And point will go to the Lady Eagles. Good spot there by Cornelius. And she was able to just float it over the defense. No one was guarding the gap there for Leoma. And it's a four-point Lady Eagles lead. Here's the serve by Rigsby once again, as it's over the net. Winters underneath, and as they look to send it over, as that's Lumpkins, as Putman will set it up. Cornelius looks to go for the kill, and that's blocked by Johnson, though tipped up, and Cornelius makes sure of it that time. She's doing good so far with these tips. Very good job of finding the gaps. Really good timing so, so far for Cornelius, as she's able to just float it over the defense and be aware of the gaps. As Johnson underneath, Winters will look to get it over. Cornelius tried to go for the block there as they set it up. Here's Cornelius going for the kill. Sent long though this time point will go to the Lady Rebels ending the scoring drought. So it's Kinsley Winters to serve for the Lady Rebels. As the lefty will get it over as up in the air. That's Putman underneath it. As they look to get it over, that's Rupert. Still up in the air. That will be off of Leoma Point. We'll go to Summertown. Scores 8-3 to three in this first set. And here's the serve by Cornelius. She gets it over. As underneath it, there's Reed. They look to get it over. Johnson. There's Rupert now. They set it up. Pettis going for the kill. Just long point will go back to Leoma. Scores eight to four. Laney Johnson to serve. As she looks to get it over. That's sent long as well. Point will go back to Summertown. It's coming into the game will be Phoenix. And here's the serve by Atkins. Winters underneath it. And they set it up. And they look to get it over. And that will be off of Rigsby. Point will go to Leoma. And getting it over was number three for Leoma. That was Roberson again. 
back to serve is number nine. That's Kinsley Lovekins again. So here's the serve. Cornelius underneath. Putman will set it up as they look to get it over. Phoenix over for the kill. Underneath it is Johnson. As they look to get it over. Setting it up was Johnson. As up in the air still as they send it back to Summertown. Putman will set it up. They look to get over. Phoenix will look to float it. Point will go to Leoma though as Phoenix was over the line. And it is 9-7, I do believe. 9-6, excuse me. And Lumpkins back to serve once again. As Ruben underneath, Putman will set it up. Here's Pettis on the far side, just punches it over the net. As they set up Johnson. Looking to get it over, and that'll be off of Pettis. Point will go Leoma. And the score is 9-7. So Leoma on a little bit of a run. Here's the serve once again. Cornelius underneath as they will set it up. Phoenix will send it right back over. Lumpkins underneath. Johnson now as they look to get it over. That is Roberson still up in the air though. Putman underneath it. Here's Pettis in the middle going for the kill. Dug out. Nobody able to save it. Point will go to the Lady Eagles as Pettis with her first kill. Good job there by Summertown being able to use that free ball as an advantage. Yes. Pettis she gets up high enough. She's for sure going to go for the kill attempt there and that will be a service ace and that one will go to Summertown their first service ace of the game and here's the serve once again it's up in the air back over to Summertown as Rupert Rigsby Pettis will just send it right back over with the right hand sent long point will go to Leoma again and the score is 11-8 Four point lead for Summertown. And that is Chloe Johnson. Two Johnsons on the team for Leoma. Phoenix underneath. Putman will set it up. Back over to Rigsby. As point will go to Summertown. Great, I guess, control there by Rigsby. Not able to go over the line there. Good spot, too. Pettis back to serve for Summertown as she will get it over the net as Lumpkins they're trying to save it and that point will go to Summertown good serve by Pettis yeah, absolutely as Summertown jumps out to a 13-8 lead now in this first set and here's the serve once again Johnson underneath Winters now as they look to get it over there's Reed Pettis underneath. They set it up. Cornelius in the middle. Floats it over the defense as they try to save it. Winters still up in the air. Johnson. As they look to get it over, it will be outplayed no, towards the Summertown bench. And that one will go to the Lady Eagles. Extend the lead out 14 to 8. We're going to have a timeout taken by Leoma as they trail. We'll be back here on the next Sports Network. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. The flooring that makes the right first impression start by choosing us. Floored by Justin. A one stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. Is the X Sports Network. And back here at Summertown as we're here after the timeout taken by Leoma as they trail the Lady Eagles 14 to 8. Pettis back to serve once again. And she will get it over net. Johnson underneath it. That was a mean service point. We'll go to Summertown once again. Another ace. Here's the serve by Pettis once again is up in the air as they look to get it over. Winters will send it back over. Pettis underneath. Putman will set it up. Cornelius looking to go for the kill and that's down for the kill point. Will go to 
Loretta. Or, not Loretta, Summertown. I'm going to get <laughs> in trouble now. Been calling too many Loretto yeah, games. I've been, I've been calling too many Loretto games. That is for sure. As Pettis with the serve. Johnson underneath it. High up in the air. And not able to time it. Point will go to Summertown again. As that was off of Roberson. Good hustle there by Liam, though, to try and get that ball. Score update from Columbia Academy as Summertown leads two sets to none over the Lady Bulldogs. As Columbia Academy leads the third set right now, 18 to 12. Coming up shortly, it will be Loretta football as they take on the Bulldogs as well of Hickman County as that is a region game. Pettis underneath it. Putman. As Pettis showing that point will go to Leoma and the lead has been cut to seven. Is Roberson to serve. And she will get it over the net. Right to Pettis. Putman will set it up in the middle. As they look to get over Rigsby. Short the net once again. Point will go to Leoma. Leads down to six in this first set. 17 to 11. Here's the serve once again. That one's short the net. Off the serve point will go back to Summertown as they extend the lead back out to seven. Back to serve will be number 14. That is Lucy Rubert again. And she will get it over. Johnson underneath. Winter will set it up back to Johnson on the left side as it's still up in the air. Cornelius tries to save it and just kind of misplacement there. Point will go to Leoma. Here's the serve once again, and short of that point will go to Summertown once again. Is on the serve that was Taylor Reed. Rigsby with the serve again, and Johnson underneath Winters. And that is Laney Johnson, and not able to get it over. Point will go to Summertown. Good serve by Rigsby. Well, Rigsby already with two aces in this game. She's looking to keep her run alive. And as soon as I say that, that's another one. <laughs> Scores 21-12 to 12 in this first set. And Summertown four points away from taking this one. Here's the serve by Rigsby once again. Up in the air as they look to get it over. Not able to get to it was Lumpkins. Point will go to Summertown again as the lead's down 2-10. And we're going to have another timeout as we'll be back here on the Exports Network. The Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage community, plus gathering spaces, neighborhoods, daily activities, and a wonderful staff that supports you every day. Hi, I'm Tara Blue. I'm the new director of The Summit, and we would like to invite you and your family to come into our facility. We would love to see you here. Got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender? Major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. And back on the Exports Network as that's down. Point will go to the Lady Eagles as Leoma has burned their second time out of the first set as they trail Summertown by 11. Summertown two points away from taking this set. Here's a serve by Rigsby. As underneath is Roberson, still up in the air. As Johnson tries to send it back short than that though. Point will go to Summertown and it's set point for the Lady Eagles. Rigsby back to serve once again.
And she will look to get it over. Roberson underneath. Lumpkins will look to send it over. Johnson sends it back to Summertown. As they set it up, Cornelius looks to float it over the defense. Down. Point will go to Summertown, and they will win the first set, 25-12. to 12. As we'll be back here shortly for the start of the second set, and Summertown looks to close it out. That'll be next here on the X-Sports Network. Oliver Wellness and Massage, located in Pulaski, Tennessee, is your premier spa for massage therapy, salt therapy, IV therapy, tanning, and much more. Stay relaxed, look your best, and feel good at Oliver Wellness, located at 1187 West College Street, Pulaski, Tennessee, or contact Haley at 931-309-0462 or schedule your appointment online at 931massage.com. Welcome to Employee Resources Credit Union, where you're more than just a number, you're family. We provide financial solutions that rise above those of traditional banks. With roots stretching back to 1964, we've served four generations during constant industry changes. We're known for our low fees and incredible rates. Join us and experience the credit union difference. BRCU, not for profit, for service. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. Family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg today. Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PO company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you as an employee a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level positions. We also strive to offer a competitive benefit package and PTO options. For more information or to apply, visit us at livingstonefs.com or give us a call at 931-2 this is the X Sports Network. And back here on the X Sports Network as we are back for Summertown for Leoma. As here is the action on the ways. That's off of Johnson. Point will go to Summertown as Lady Eagles won the first set 25 to 12. As all they have to do is win one of the next two sets. As and as here's the serve. That will be a service ace point. We'll go to Summertown again. Here's Rigsby back to serve as she will get it over net. Lumpkins, somebody trying to make a play on it. Still up in the air, though. Johnson sends it back over. Great well, hustle by yeah, Leoma. I was about to say the exact <laughs> same thing. So they look to get it over. Still up in the air. Winters, it's all out of sorts. Johnson will send it back, though. As Atkins underneath it. They set it up. They look to get it over. That was actually Rupert that was underneath for Summertown. And speaking of Rupert, she's underneath that one. They look to get it over. Atkins now. Up in the air, diving save by Roberson as they will set it up. Here's Garland, or excuse me, not Garland, you're Garland. <laughs> Still up in the air, Johnson. This Putman will set it up. They look to get it over, floats it over the defense. Johnson underneath, as Lumpkins will look to send it over. Pettis underneath that one as they set it up. It's going for the kill, up in the air still. And that'll be out play point, we'll go to Summertown and they will lead quickly three to nothing. Jim starting to get a little bit more crowded as Seth Lawrence fans are here. The Hampshire fans are also here. That game will come up next. And new prospect Kolioka are going through the door as we speak. At that point will go Leoma. 
scores three to one. First point for the Lady Rebels in this set. Here's the serve by Winters. As it's up in the air, and that's down for the service ace. Point will go to the Lady Rebels, and they cut the lead down to one. Good serve right there. That was a left-handed. It, yeah. it was short. Those left-handed serves are always the hardest ones to get. It. So they do have a score update from Columbia as Summertown won three sets to none over Columbia Academy. As they will be back in action next week. I don't know who it I don't know on the top of my head who they play on Monday. I'm sure other people will know better than I do. That's down for the kill by Atkins. And the score is four to two. Here's the serve by Cornelius. And just over the net. <laughs> and point will go to Summertown as that hung on the net. Nobody was anticipating that. Not even Cornelius. She was shocked. <laughs> Here's the serve once again. She'll get it over the net with ease this time. Johnson underneath it. And looking to get it over as that is Reed. Is up in the air as they will set it up. As they look to float it over. So underneath it was Atkins. Johnson sends it over. Cornelius underneath it though. Putman. As they will send it right back over. Winters underneath it. So it's Chloe Johnson. As that's over to Laney Johnson. As off of Summertown point will go to the Lady Rebels. Johnson, she will look to get it over. Pettis underneath. Putman now. Back to Pettis. She goes for the kill, and that's dug out. Johnson underneath it. Winters will send it back over. And he's just over the net as they set it up. Times it up. Pettis floats it over defense. Johnson underneath it, though. Lumpkins tries to save it. Nobody able to make a play on it. Point will go to Summertown again. Here's the serve once again, up in the air. And that's shorter than that. Nobody able to play on it again. Point will go to Summertown as they jump out to a four point lead. Here's the serve. He's underneath it is Robertson. Johnson will get it over to Summertown. They set it up. They look to get it over. Tipped up, though. And point will go to the Lady Eagles. Atkins to serve. And she will just be short of the net. Point will go to Leoma. And the score is 8-4 to four in this second set. Back to serve will be number 9. That is Kenzie Lumpkins. As she will get it over the net as they set it up. Pettis going for the kill. Johnson underneath it, though. Here's Chloe Johnson now. Roberson will get it over the net. Up in the air still. Cornelius. That's actually Rigsby. Phoenix will get it over and down. Point will go to the Lady Eagles again. Here's the serve. Johnson tries to save it, and that'll be a service ace for Summertown. Putman to serve, the lefty. Here's the serve once again. And give her another one back to back. Leads out to seven. So here's the serve once again by Summertown. And that one just will be long point. We'll go to the Lady Rebels. Chloe Johnson to serve, number 10. So here's the serve. They get it over. And Putman underneath it. As Rigsby gets it over the net. 
Reed underneath, and she will look to float it over the net. Still up in the air for Summertown as they look to get it over. Still up in the air. Winter sets it up. He's looking to get it over. Roberson still up in the air and lost track of it. Point will go to the Lady Rebels. That one just seemed to get a yeah. little bit lost. Underneath it was Atkins, and nobody else was able to get to it, and Atkins was trying to figure out where the ball was. <laughs> As Putman sets it up, and they're able to send it back. There's Rigsby. Good set there by Putman. That one was tight. As they look to get it over, it will go long point. We'll go to the Lady Eagles again, and the score is 12-6 to in this second set. Cornelius will check back in. Here's Macy Pettis to serve, as she will serve it a little long. Point will go to Leoma. Speaking of Pettis, I'm sure he's watching. Shout out to the man, Will Pettis. <laughs> as here's the serve. Just over, or just short of that. It looked like it was going to float over. And point will go back to Summertown. Back to serve will be Lucy Rubert again. And Will just actually texts me as we speak. Uh, they will be playing Columbia Central. That is the high school Lady Eagles of Summertown. They will play on Monday. At that point, we'll go back to Summertown. Off the serve. Thank you, Will, for the information. So here's the serve once again. Short of the net point will go back to Leoma. So here's the serve. As they will get it over. Good float underneath. serve there. It was. As they look to get it over, which they do, it's underneath it. That is Reed. So they set it up. Johnson going for the kill. Off of Cornelius, and point will go to the Lady Rebels. Here's the serve once again. And it's up in the air. They're trying to save it, which they do. And they will send it back over to Leoma. As Winter sets it up back over to Summertown. Popping underneath. As they look to get it over. Just long point will go to the Lady Rebels. And the lead's been cut down to four. Scores 14 to 10. And here's the serve again. And that's down for the service ace. And point will go back to... Leoma and the lead is down to three. Here's the serve once again, just short of the net. And point will go to the Lady Eagles. I think the serve will be Rigsby once again. I feel like I've seen Rigsby serve a lot tonight. I, I was about to say the same thing. It seems like she's back there every so often. It's up in the air. Johnson sends it back. Cornelius tips it. Still up in the air, though. And point will go to the Lady Eagles. There's good awareness there by Cornelius just to catch the Lady Rebels off guard. Good serve there by Rigsby, too. Speaking of Rigsby, she goes back to serve yet again. It's up in the air. Winter sets it up. And still up and missed time. Point will go to Summertown again. That was a good pass on Leoma's side. Just couldn't finish it off. If you're Leoma, you got to think, when will that timeout come into play as they trail <laughs> by six? Here's the serve once again. It's up in the air. As Winter's underneath, Johnson will set, send it back over. Riggs be underneath it as they will set it up in the middle. As they look to get it over, it will be blocked by Johnson. And point will go to the Lady Rebels. I think that one caught Summertown off guard a yeah. little bit. That's one thing about Johnson. She's got height and more than likely is her and Cornelius look like they might be the same height, but Johnson might be just a slightly taller. Speaking of Cornelius, right underneath it, Putman will set it up back to Cornelius. Goes for the kill. Goes long point will go to the Lady Rebels. 
And it's 17 to 14. Winters with the serve. As they set up in the middle for Summertown, as they will send it right back over. Johnson. She sets up Bailey Johnson, or excuse me, Laney Johnson, that is, as they're trying to track it down for it. We'll go to Leoma. Great hit there on Leoma's side. Yeah, just unfortunate there as it went so high up in the air, it hit the ceiling or one of the wood tiles up top. And the lead is cut down to three. Winters with the left-handed serve once again. They will set it up. Cornelius floats it over. Lumpkins underneath. Johnson. They try to save it. Winters not able to. Point will go to Summertown again. Here's the surf as they look to get it over. As they will set it up. Johnson goes for the kill. And with the catch, Coach Huffstetler. <laughs> right into her hands. Yeah, right into her hands. Five-point Lady Eagles lead. As they look to get it over, Johnson underneath. As Good underneath serve it. there by Cornelius. Johnson with the save there, punches it over as they set it up. As Summertown sends it back to Leoma. Chloe Johnson to Laney Johnson. Up, and that will be a kill for the Lady Rebels. We got you, Will. We're looking out for you, buddy. <laughs> so here's the serve, and that will be off of Pettis Point. We'll go to the Lady Rebels. Score or er, scores 19 to 16, and it's been cut down to three again. As Johnson back to serve, and that one sent long point. We'll go to Summertown, as they are five points away from taking this match. Ellie Reese Atkins set to serve for the Lady Eagles. And she will get it over the net. Winters underneath it. Chloe Johnson is looking to get it over. There's Roberson. As they set it up, Phoenix looks to get it over. It will hit the antenna, though. Point will go to the Lady Rebels again. You know better than I do. I've always called the antenna. What, what is that? What's the term for that? It's just the... I mean, pole would, you know. We just call it the, the, like, yeah, it's the antenna. The antenna, I mean. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm just making sure. As underneath it is Summertown. They look to get it over, and that will be off of the fingertips of Rigsby, and we're going to have a timeout taken by Summertown as they lead 20 to 18, as we'll be back here on the Sports Network. Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931-201. 9098 so we can help you make the switch today. And back here in Summertown, the Summertown takes their first time out as they lead 2018 here in the second set. As they set it up, Pettis. And Miss Times at point will go to Leoma again. And it's a one point Lady Eagles lead. Lumpkins to serve. I hate when that happens. Oh, just the miss time in the play. <laughs> yeah. It's just kind of just a diffuser. As that point will go to Summertown. It was out on the right side of the court. And Summertown takes the two point lead again. Putman to serve, the lefty. And she will get it over the net. Roberson underneath. Johnson has to make a play on it. And Roberson will send it right back over to Summertown. It's up in the air as they set it up. Phoenix and short of that point will go to the Lady Rebels again. And it's 21 to 20. Chloe Johnson to serve. 
Summertown four points away from finishing this one off. As up in the air as they set it up, looking to get it over Rigsby. Lumpkins underneath it. Winters now as they look to get it over, which they do. As Rupert underneath, they set it up. Rigsby going for the kill. Johnson up in the air, off the score. Woo! Oh, that was close from going into the net. That one would definitely been on Sports Center. It's the wrong sport we're playing. As Pettis <laughs> will go back to surf as Summertown leads by two again, 22 to 20. I hate when they go up and get when the balls go up and get hit hot in those metal pieces. Yeah. See, I wish they would just like lift. You know, I don't, I know with that goal over there they can't, but with this goal, I wish they just lift it up where you don't have to worry about something like that. Yes. As Winters underneath it, as they look to send it over, and that's blocked by Cornelius, and point will go to Leoma those. It was off of Cornelius. Leads out to one. Mia Roberson to serve. As they look to get it over, Pettis. Good up there by Macy, Pettis. It's up in the air, Cornelius tip, and point will go to Summertown as Johnson looked like she crossed the half-court line. Whew, that was a close one. Yeah, I couldn't really tell because <laughs> Winters was in my point of view of where Johnson, her feet were. Anyways, it's 23 to 21, <clears throat> and it will be Lucy Rupert to serve. Here's the serve, and shoulder to the net. Point will go back to Leoma. Game is this match is uh, neck and neck right here in this set. Coming down to the <laughs> wire here in this second set, as here's the serve and that one is short of the net as well, and it's now match point for Summertown as they look to close this one out. Here's the serve, just over net. Johnson underneath. Winters will set it up. Back to Johnson. She will send it over to Summertown as they set it up. Cornelius going for the kill, floats it over defense. Winters still up in the air. Chloe Johnson as they look to make a play. Point will go to Summertown, and that one will end the match. Summertown will win that one 25 to 22 as they will move on. They will play the winner of the game coming up next tomorrow between South Lawrence and Hampshire. So, Ava Scott, what are your final thoughts for this game? I think that it was a good game. That second set, though, came kind of close. I think it's late in the day. It's hard to play late in the day after you have just sat around all day, especially with no school. But I think tomorrow, bright and early, it should be good games. Absolutely. So that will do it for this broadcast. The Summertown does defeat the Lady Rebels of Leoma. As Leoma will play tomorrow at 10 a.m., they will play the winner of Linden and whoever loses the South Lawrence and Hampshire game. As that will be coming up next. As that will do it for Hayden Burks, Ava Scott Garland, and Kevin Wright. We will see you here in about 15, 20 minutes for the next game. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.